The following video has been created by the Center for Teaching Excellence to provide faculty with instructions regarding how to create an assignment in Blackboard. Let's go ahead and get started. Once faculty have logged into their desired Blackboard course, decide the location of where you would like to place your assignment. Once that destination has been selected, under Assessments, click Assignment. Provide a name for your assignment. In this space, provide instructions for your students so that they understand and know how to successfully complete your assignment. For this assignment, I would require students to submit their paper into Turnitin, the plagiarism detection software. A video provided by the Center for Teaching Excellence will provide instructions for faculty regarding how to use Turnitin and how to submit a paper for plagiarism detection if they so choose. If they would like to use this product, that video will be very helpful. Next, select the due date of your assignment. In my instructions, I stated April 26th. Make sure you select the same due date and time to avoid confusing students. I mean, make sure that it's the same time and date the assignments do that you had in your instructions. For this assignment, Students can also upload their paper from the cloud storage of their choice by clicking on this option. Be on the lookout for a video that will provide instructions for students to faculty and share with them. Next, Select how many points the assignment is worth. You can add a rubric. You can select one. You can create a new rubric. Or you can create from an existing rubric. Submission details. Select the appropriate submission detail based upon how you want the assignment submitted. Individual, group, portfolio. You can select how many attempts. Single, multiple, unlimited. You can select your grading options. Enable anonymous grading or enable delegated grading. You can decide how you want the grades displayed in the gradebook or grade center. You can have a score, a letter, text, percentage, complete or incomplete. 
You can also have a secondary display, letter, text, percentage, or complete or incomplete. It's your choice. Select this box if you'd like to include the grade in the Grade Center calculations. Click here to show students in my grades. You also have the option of checking this box to show an average and median statistics for students. Select when you'd like your assignment to display to students and for how long. I'm going to select April 26th as that is the due date of the assignment. You can have it display longer if you like. It's your choice. You can also track the number of views by checking this box. Once you are done, click Submit. And now the assignment I just created appears in the location that I selected to begin with. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the Center for Teaching Excellence or Online Education Services.